Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Stellaris as we are playing with the 2.2 patch and the Mega Core expansion. Uh, so before we begin here, I'd like to apologize that the video is so late today here on Saturday. And um, that's because I, uh, I had to work Friday night and I had to work really late on Friday night. I was supposed to record this video before I went to work. However, I stayed up pretty late to make uh, the first episode public when the embargo lifted. I don't think I went to bed till like 8 something in the morning. So yeah, I ended up sleeping until I had to go to work. Uh, and then, yeah, I didn't get recorded. And then, of course, I worked late last night. I woke up when it was about time to feed the kids lunch. And then I fed them lunch and, uh, you know, uh, hung out with them for a little bit. And so here we are, late Saturday afternoon, recording this video. So it's probably not going to be out until sometime in the evening. So I apologize for that. Uh, but that's just part of the night shift, guys. I'm always just fucked up on my schedule because of the damn night shift. Because uh, the rest of my family are not on the night shift. Uh, I do not like that this is called the Glowing K here. Uh, we will call it... I don't know. I guess I'm fine with glowing. How about glowing tomato? I don't know if slugs eat tomatoes or not. But I watched some cartoon movie where these snails ate tomatoes. So that's what we're going to go with. And it kind of looks like a tomato, I guess, if you buy really... Uh, Really rotten ones. Uh, so yeah, we're playing with the uh, Walmart slugs here. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and just let it start running. And um, yeah, we're exploring the, the galaxy uh, and attempting to expand our empire. Uh, so one of the, the goals for this campaign, guys, because I never really talked about it in that first episode like I probably should have, uh, but yeah, the goals for this campaign is we're, we're essentially attempting to create uh, the most profitable just turn this down just a little bit. Uh, trying to become the most profitable, uh, you know, corporation in the galaxy. We're just trying to make a ton of money. I would like to be able to place uh, our... Uh, what do we finish constructing here? We did with all these here. But our... What do we call them? Are they called corporate headquarters? Like corporate uh, offices, I think that's what they're called. I'd like to get corporate offices on the uh, home planets of all of our neighbors. Maybe all the important countries in the world i don't know or in the galaxy excuse me uh yeah that's what we're going to attempt to do we're just playing as a corporation a greedy corporation attempting to make as much money as possible all right so these guys here just finished building the uh you know getting the energy and the minerals from uh, that system right there do we want to further expand or do we want to wait until these guys can expand here because that's really what i want to use that influence for. I guess it's a matter of how much more he has left to scan. It seems like he's done most of the system there, and that's really the way I want to go right now, is start expanding that way. Uh, but we could lock this down, this one here, by expanding that way. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and take care of it. Uh, it's fine. Hopefully we'll have enough influence by the time uh, this uh, science ship is done over here. We won't. Uh, but it's all right. Uh, so we got Sam's Club. Uh, I'm also a little bit confused complete. here because I forgot to name our star here the same thing Boom. as our planet. Ah, so let's go and take care of that real quick. This is Asta. Asta. And we've got an anomaly as well, or a couple anomalies here, uh, which we're just going to leave be for right now. We'll take care of those in a little bit. I I'm, I'm really don't want to. I know this was an easy one. But I really feel like we need to to get moving along here. Uh, I want to to get some more of these uh, systems uh, revealed to kind of see what we're working with here, which Resource way would be complete. best for us to expand. Uh, and we no, we don't have the influence Colony yet for that. So we'll just have to wait uh, to be able to get that and take a look here. Uh, I think once again, yeah, we're just gonna wait to do the anomalies. I really feel like we need to to get some of these systems scanned. Uh, especially over in this direction. I want to get this, uh, these guys moving along. And we need to also scan all the systems over here. Uh, do we have the influence yet? Not quite. I think about one more month needs to tick. This guy could go ahead and take care of all the mining stations there, though. And there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, build a star base here. Uh, I do want to see... I do want to see what that anomaly is, though, because we could take care of, you know, if there's some resources that we're going to get from it, uh, then that would be immediately beneficial to us since we already have the system in our borders. So we now have more uh, leaders to choose between, and our leaders are going to be cheaper. Pretty important. As I said, leaders do get a bit expensive. Uh, so what do we want to go next? Pop growth speed or... Yeah, there's no point in going for that since we don't have those gases yet. 
You know what I think? That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go prop growth speed, trying to increase the size of our planets a little bit faster. Uh, so we can get new components and basic combat roles. Uh, we can get capacity overload and energy grids. Those do not require any resources. Or we can get the resource uh, research complexes, which do require resources. Let's do the basic combat roles first. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to take care of that. And I believe everybody's working right now. Yeah, we've got everybody out there doing their thing. No, we now have 10 it. ships in our fleet for a total fleet power of 348. Uh, and which which system is this in? That's in... You know what? We are going to go ahead and do that one, actually. We're going to have them research that one. I kind of do want to get these ones because these are going to be uh, in our borders something. relatively soon here. While these ones here, it's going to take a little while for us to get over there. All right, so let's see here. Abandoned gateway. So we have found... Our first gateway here, right in this system. Very intriguing. Let's take a look at that. Here's the disabled gateway. So we will need to get gateway technology to be able to use that. Uh, I really like the the change that they made in, in 2.0, uh, where they had, you know, restricted it to one uh, form of uh, travel here. I, I like the other form of travel. I know a lot of people were really irritated when they removed those. And which one did we get? Oh, we got exa exotic gases. That's exactly what we needed, guys. Yes, that's one of the resources I've been looking for. I'm really happy we finally found something. Uh, it's only one, uh, but that's better than nothing. Got an ancient life pod, and that was part of that anomaly that we found here. Okay, very interesting. That's going to get us a bit more society research. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that we finally found ourselves a uh, little bit of resources in a close-by system. Uh, so our construction ship. Do we want... No. I don't think we're going to expand over here just yet. Let's just wait. I kind of really want to start going this way here. Uh, so yeah, we'll just wait a little bit. Uh, we don't have a very high influence gain. Uh, so let's just have him chill out right there. And we did find another anomaly in that same system. Yeah, let's go and research it. And this construction ship is done as well. We got that energy. And I want to expand out this way, so let's go ahead and have him move over there now. Uh, looks like we're getting some good stuff over here. Uh, we have already have two uh, types of research here. And we got another anomaly that he's researching right now. So we might even find a third bonus there. And I don't think he's done with the system yet either. Uh, so yeah, I might find some good stuff there. Uh, so I'm almost thinking, got an alien mural here, that we should bring this guy up this way here. I was going to have this scientist do all this, but he's taking too damn long. Uh, so this is the Translate Alien Mural Special Love Project. Update. I'm not going to read all that because once again, these are, these are uh, you know, anomalies that I think we've all seen before. Uh, we'll have him do that as soon as he's done with the system so that I can expand out to that. Because that's the next system I'd like to grab. And we already have the influence for it. And another scientist has gained a trait. The carefree trait, I think, is the one he just got. Uh, so we'll be able to research a little bit quicker. And, yeah, just waiting to, to get the system finished up here. So that we can uh, grab it up and add it anomaly to our empire. Uh, found another anomaly. Is that, that is not in that same system. That's over here for our other scientists going to research that. Uh, but yeah, I, I like that they they restricted it to the hyperlanes. I'm not saying I didn't like the other two. I did like the other two. They were actually kind of better than hyperlanes in a way. Um, I especially liked the uh, the worm. What was it called? Like wormhole. I don't know, where you use the uh, little wormholes to travel. That was a great FTL. I liked it a lot. It was uh, just very strategic. Uh, it, just, it was just fun to play with. Let's go with... Let's see, what do we want to get here? I don't think we're going to do the coil guns. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll do the coil guns. We'll wait to do that one. That's fine. Look we'll at the coil guns kind of make our, our uh, ships a little bit better. And got a bit more society research from... I believe the uh, anomaly that we found in this system here. Uh, but yeah, I like the other FTLs. But what I found is that the game was a lot funner when you, uh, we should go ahead and get this guy constructing this. When you lock the entire galaxy to, F to that uh, particular FTL, to the hyperlanes. When you lock the whole galaxy to hyperlanes, because you know that was a feature that you could do hey, is lock everybody to using this. the same FTL. And I just found it to be, we are finding a ton of anomalies in these systems. 
I just found it to be a bit more, uh, I don't know, just more tactical on the style of play and just funner overall. Uh, so yeah, I, I really liked um, really liked playing with that. So when they decided to change it and remove the other FTL types, I, it didn't really bother me, guys. Um, I, I know a lot of people were pissed about that, uh, but me, I was fine with it, and I feel like it's a better game now because of it. All right, we'll go ahead and get more research there. But yeah, I feel like it's a better game. Uh, the 2.0 patch was an Resource excellent patch. Uh, some major changes here. I find it really unfortunate though that the console version, and I think we're gonna go ahead and start going out this way now, guys, just to have, yeah, let's go ahead and have him help out over here because this guy needs to go this way. Uh, so we've already done enough systems over here. It's gonna take us a while to expand out that way. So let's go ahead and have this guy start surveying these systems here. Uh, we're gonna wanna hit this one up next. I haven't served really those systems. It'll take a little while to get over there, uh, but that's fine. And then Research we could expand this way, um, and maybe we will once we get the, the influence. Let's go ahead and move them over there. Uh, special project complete. That has gained us uh, experience for our, our researcher and, of course, some more engineer research as well. And that has resulted in him leveling up. All right, awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, the 2.0 patch was was an excellent patch. Uh, it looks like this guy is not doing anything. My bad. Let's go and have him research that anomaly there. See if we can find anything else in the system to build upon. And that'll give this guy something to do. But we do need to start getting all these researched out here. Uh, get them all surveyed. Uh, 2.0 patch was an excellent patch. Uh, but uh, I don't know, man. I might even like this one more. I love the, the changes to the planets overall. Uh, I don't think there's anything for this construction ship to do at the moment. No, we do have the ability to expand though. I think we're gonna go ahead and start expanding out this way. I'd like to get control of both of these two systems here. Uh, and then we got a continental world there as well. Yeah, those are the only ones we've really scanned. Let's go ahead and grab that one up. Uh, we're not gonna get any uh, bases just yet. Uh, we don't have any enemies, so I'm not too worried about it right now. Why not save the cost? Uh, an odd factor, what is this? A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Asda. The building and its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. Our population would easily be able to use a facility to add to the colony's production output. Just All right, well, let's just take a look at that. That was on Asda here. Uh, it's not a building. Is it a rare planetary feature? Yep. All right, so that has give odd factory worker jobs plus one well-crafted facility that produces high value resources left on the planet by a different civilization. So I wonder what those guys do. Can we see? It looks like it might give us alloys. That's what it seems like. All right, yeah, I think that's given us alloys. Excellent, super helpful. Uh, so we now have pop growth speed increased. Let's go with this gives us trade value now, the off-world trade companies. That makes sense. Uh, do we have any of these tile blockers here on the uh, Asda? Let's just take a look. I don't actually know what blockers we have. We do have one dense jungle on Asda. Uh, we have one dense jungle on Sam's Club. Uh, but we're not actually limited yet on either of these for building. So I'm just not going to prioritize that yet. Uh, but then again, yeah, you know what? Let's go and get this one. Look at the uh, farming ones. Food is so much more useful in this patch. No reports of any problems have been issued from the odd factory on Asda. It seems like the colony will maintain the projected production estimates. Okay. Uh, we also have a construction ship not doing anything. A toad asteroid. All right, excellent. So that's gonna be helpful. Uh, what I want you to go ahead and do, my construction friend, is go ahead and take advantage of that. And we can now go ahead and get the science ship working as well to survey this area here. Uh, we are going to skip some of these systems, guys, because I kind of want to figure out uh, where the lockdown systems are, you know, where we need to lock down uh, things. So let's go to this one next. Just skip around here. I try and lock down as many systems as possible uh, to allow us to expand more in the future. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, you know, scan systems like this here, like this one here. We don't really know what's going on down here yet. I don't know where they connect. Uh, but yeah, and we're probably gonna find, uh, we're probably gonna find ourselves 
some neighbors soon as well. Uh, we have hit the, the job cap here. So let's go ahead and get a new district. Uh, we're doing okay on housing. I don't really feel like we need a city district at the moment, though the clerks would be great for amenities. Uh, we could also work on money uh, or a mining district. How are we doing? We're doing good on food. You know what? We're doing pretty good on just about everything right now. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is get ourselves the city district just for the amenities. And I like getting those clerks in there as well because they get that trade value, which is the name of the game for the Walmart slugs. We're all about that trade value. All right, so these guys have finished up here. There wasn't anything to build there, uh, and we don't have the influence to do anything else. Uh, we can't go ahead and move him, though. Yeah, that was kind of a useless system overall. Now, of course, we do have that anomaly there, so maybe we'll find something interesting. Uh, we did find an encounter. Oh, no. All right, guys, this could be... Where was this at now? Let's take a look. Oh, wait a minute, that's... Huh. Why did it move us all the way over there? Okay. Not sure who those are. I think we should probably research them. I always like doing this just because you get that influence. I know it does stop your, your society research. Uh, there's an argument of whether those are worth it or not. Um, I just like it because the influence is the one limiting factor here to expansion. So I would rather get that than the society research in the beginning, in this early game here. So remember, we finished up the expansion uh, tradition. So now we can move to the next one. And as I said before, we are going to go at prosperity. I wanted to get that one early. Makes sense for our type of playthrough here. This is going to increase our mining station output by 10% immediately. So that should be quite helpful. That's uh, going to generate. I mean, we are making so much money right now, guys. Um, what is the limit? It is now 10,000. Was that? I think it was 10,000 before, actually. Yeah. I don't think that's been changed. Uh, so this guy's done here. Uh, and we don't have the influence yet to uh, get any other systems. Uh, as I said, we're going to wait to get those ones. And I think we've built everything in our home systems. Yeah. Uh, might as well just move right here. But right now, just to see, I don't know which direction we're going to go yet. That's a tundra world there. So we probably aren't going to be uh, settling there. Uh, yeah, I think we're probably going to go ahead and, and grab this one up next. Uh, because I haven't scanned these two, so we can't lock it down. Um, but really what we need to do is get this one here. And then we can lock all of this down. That would probably be the best way to do it. But of course, both of my researchers are on this side of things. So not going to be able to do that just yet. Uh, but that's okay if influence stacks up just a little bit. We still haven't found ourselves any neighbors yet. So... You know, it's not like this race to, to you know, get systems before some neighbor does. Uh, it does seem that we have problems here. Uh, damn. Yep, I wasn't paying attention to the population here uh, on our other planets. So we do need to, to fix this here because we currently have unemployed, which causes many, many problems. We do have an open building slot, though, so that's what we'll use it for. This is Sam's Club. This is our food place. But we're doing pretty good on food. Uh, so what do we need? Amenities. We need amenities here. So we're going to want to get somebody, somebody who get, gives us amenities. So let's take a look. Uh, I think it's like entertainers do. Yeah, entertainers give consumer goods or take consumer goods and turn them into unity and amenity. Uh, and yeah, the corporate culture does not. I think that's what we will get then. Yep. I think that's the best option is to get some entertainers, some hollow theaters so that our people will... Uh, be happy. Uh, we can also get the luxury residences. Uh, this gives five amenities. Not bad. I don't know how much each entertainer gives, uh, but I do like that it gives unity as well. So that's what we're going to get. We're going to get that and housing is okay right now. Uh, so we'll get the hollow theaters and our people shall be entertained. How are we doing on this planet? This planet also could use uh, us building something here. So let's go ahead and take care of that. We have no housing available. So let's do the city district. And get a bit of housing, get some more clerks, get more trade value, all that good Target stuff. Communications have been established. We got that influence because we're the ones who did it, and it is uh, a neighbor. Damn. All right. Unfortunately, we have found the neighbors, and they have some strategic resources as well. What do they have? I guess I should probably finish this up here. Uh, so he brings greetings from his rever revered elder, the elected leader of the... Uh, Sacrosanct Centomio Assembly. We believe in the right of all sapient beings to fulfill their individual spiritual needs, and we hope you share in this sentiment. 
So they are a theocratic republic. They are spiritual seekers. That means they're egalitarian, uh, pacifist, and spiritualist. All right, so they're friendly. So our chief executive officer greets you. So that's our first alien encounter. People are flipping out because we have discovered that we are not alone in the world. Uh, so it looks like they have rare crystals. I don't know if this is going to be a friend. They could definitely be friendly, even if we are, you know, we have a difference of opinions of what's important in life. They are more about the spiritual uh, than we are. We're more about the material in life. Uh, but I feel like they could possibly be friends. Let's see who else is around us. It does mean that, yeah, we're not going to be able to go out this way any further, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and get our scientist. Uh, let's bring him back over to this way. This guy here will take care of all this since he's already over there anyways. And I really want to scan that system right there. Because I would think that we'd want to... Well, actually, we'd have to get this one first. And then that one. So that's the way we're going to go. Try and lock that down so that we can lock down all of these systems here for ourselves. And I don't expect to find a neighbor down here. If we had one, he would be over this way somewhere, which looks like it connects right there. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and research that anomaly, I suppose. And trade deal offer already. They just want to give us credits because uh, they're trying to create a friendly relationship with us. Well, I will take those credits, my friend, and I thank you. Uh, is there anything we could be buying with our credits? Not really. Uh, we're doing pretty good on all of our resources at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if uh, there's anything we could be constructing because you guys notice the influence is kind of snacked up right now uh, and we can't expand any further that way. So let's go ahead and, and take this system here so that after we have scanned this system, we can grab that and then that one. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, we got our first neighbors and they're friendly. Negotiations for appointing a new chief, chief executive officer, and call him CEO, are underway. So, we now have our first set of elections. Will Sam Walton remain in charge of Walmart? His agenda is going to be a scientific leap, which is uh, increased research speed. So, I'm kind of wanting to go for him. Remember, he is a fertility preacher uh, and an industrialist. So, he wants our people to be fucking so that we can uh, get lots of, lots of babies, lots of new pops. Uh, help us expand to the world. Uh, we've got uh, Ordeg here. He is resilient, and um, that's his only only trait here. And his agenda is native privilege. Okay, so he's a xenophobe. All right. Um, we got Nog here, also resilient, and he is uh, agenda skill development. So leader experience gain will be increased. And then we've got our adaptable friend here uh, who is going after slave optimization. So slave output would be plus 10%. We don't have any slaves. I really feel like Sam Walton is our best option here. Plus we're not taking from a scientist uh, that is currently busy or a governor. Uh, so yeah, Sam Walton seems like the best one for me. I can't actually vote. I didn't realize I didn't have the uh, influence. Well, that's unfortunate. I think we'll try if we can save up the influence by then, which means we won't be able to expand any further. That's quite unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that would suck. I hope I hope we're able to vote because I don't I don't want it to be a random candidate. I really want Sam Walton to win. Uh, so life electric. All right, this is going to increase his skill level, and we got a nice little research bonus. I don't know what system that's in. That's up here. Okay, that's probably one of the next point. systems that we expand into, uh, and our construction ship has finished here. And we did not get to vote, but CEO Sam Walton was re-elected because he's so fantastic. All right, awesome. I'm glad that he won uh, since we weren't able to, uh, you know, do anything about that. Let's build the observation post first to get all that societal research. I bet our societal research is going to be stacked. We're already at 36 for that, so that's very, very good. Uh, and our construction ship over here, yeah, there's not really anything for him to do at the moment. Uh, yeah, there's not anything for him to do. I want to grab that system and this one here. Let's just have him go over there for right now. And, yeah, there's some good research bonuses there, so we'll probably complete. grab that system next. Uh, construction complete. Let's take a look at our our uh, planets see how things are going here. Pretty good here right now. Uh, still trying to get that hollow theater built here. And we're building the city district here. Unfortunately, we uh, do have some issues because I didn't build those soon enough. I wasn't taking a look at these. Uh, looking at the decisions, guys, I haven't really showed you this because they have changed all of this. Uh, they used to have a different system here. And uh, 
I like the the way they change this. So we have we can declare martial law. So this reduces job resource production and pop growth, uh, but it increases stability. So this is for when your stability you're having problems here stability wise. That's when you want to declare martial law. Uh, we do population controls. That's when you get to the point where you're having trouble uh, with housing and uh, you got a lot of homeless people basically. Uh, you'd want to do population controls, so those are things that we don't really need to do at the moment. Uh, we can distribute luxury goods. These give you some awesome bonuses when you're stacked up on the uh, consumer goods, uh, which we're not at this moment, so we're not going to do that. You can also do encourage planetary growth when you're stacked up on food, as we are right now, uh, so that our planet can grow quicker. I almost want to do that. Yeah. I mean, we yeah, let's do that on our home planet, the corporate HQ. I want to grow this planet as large as we possibly can. Uh, so let's encourage planetary growth with that food that we had there and that'll last quite a while as well 10 years all right super helpful so yeah uh so far expansion's going pretty well um and i think we're gonna have a lot of open space uh in order to to expand here uh we're probably going to want to build a base right there since we have neighbors here uh just in case they get jumpity i kind of want to see what we have here and if we did build one, we would want trading. I don't like that we can't get this trade value here. Uh, might be able to get it from Sam's Club, though. Yeah, Sam's Club might be able to get it if we had uh, a very large uh, star base there. Uh, so we have finished construction over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the mining stations there. This guy is here now. He can now build the star base outpost. So let's go ahead and grab that system up. Man, I'm coughing like crazy, guys. Sorry about that. Ugh, I'm still sick, unfortunately. Uh, just, you know, taking a long time to get over this. All right, we finally finished that up in Sam's Club. We're going to have to do something else, though. As you can see, uh, that only solved the unemployment issues that we were having. Uh, we need more jobs. Uh, so what we're going to do... How are we doing on food up there? We're doing okay on food. I suppose we could always do more. I like that we can use that food to to grow, uh, to grow things. So yeah, let's go ahead and to grow our our population. I just said grow things. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, build another agricultural district. Make sure that uh, Sam's Club is is pumping out the food as they should be. Uh, Sam's Club is that place that you always can uh, get a ton of food, big old crates full of food, and it Ooh. seems that we're having some problems with we consumer need to build goods. Something. Um, I wonder if we should change any of our policies. Uh, seeing if uh, we can't change the the food or the uh, economic policy because we just changed that. But I think what we actually changed to give ourselves more uh, consumer goods. Uh, the trade policy though could be changed because I feel like we're just stacked on money right now. While we are having problems with consumer goods, it might be wise actually. Hmm. Oh, look at this marketplace of ideals. So trade value will not only give you money. So this determines what trade value gives you. Okay, I understand now. All right, so this is uh, the trade value here. What wealth creation gives you just money, while here trade value will also give you consumer goods. And with this, trade value gives you money and, or energy, excuse me, and unity. All right, that's interesting. Okay, I mean, I feel like we're sitting on a ton of money right now. Let's change up to consumer benefits. I think that's going to help us out a lot with the, yeah, look at that. But look at the money, <laughs> the energy. We have a lot less energy now, uh, so that's that's unfortunate. But I think we'll be able to stack up on those consumer goods now, so that's all right. Uh, so our construction guys aren't doing anything, so let's get them to work, building research stations. And can we expand? Mm, no, not yet. We haven't scanned it, unfortunately. Where is that damn science ship? Taking his time to get over there. Uh, that's one thing I, I, I kind of find unfortunate that they didn't they didn't change. Uh, and we are actually way above our administrative cap, aren't we? No, our administrative cap is 70. Um, but it is multiplied due to being... Boom. Due to empire cohesion. Something. Interesting. Okay. I didn't realize that. So, we have built out over there. Got our energy. And yeah, we're just waiting. There's not really anything to do with this construction ship until we get our science ship over there governor has gained a trait you got the stubborn trait that sounds like a bad one. Oh yeah he's not gonna get experience as quickly now unfortunate let's take a look at our planets and uh, we do need to get something built in over here in Asda uh, let's see what we want to get uh, we should probably do 
Uh, a generator district. Yeah, let's do a generator district over here. All right. So that should help us uh, with the that loss of energy that we we got from changing that policy. Okay, what do we want to do next here? Uh, auxiliary fire control. We can do improved reactor booster. So yeah, these are just for the auxiliary, uh, you know, auxiliary pieces. Uh, or we do survey speed. I think we should probably do survey speed, guys. All right. So what did we get again? I was just talking about how happy I was that it now tells you. <laughs> You know what we what you just got and then I still seem to forget basic combat rolls so we're gonna want to put that into our ships so let's go ahead and do that now and somebody said that this was actually a bug where it shows you the optimal the auto generated version rather than your current uh, ship that you have here uh, which is interesting that they have a bug here um, I don't think it's something that uh, I, I did report on the forums but I don't think it's something that's gonna get fixed before the uh, game comes out unfortunately uh, so we now have access to, uh, I think this is what we got here. We can do basic combat rolls, swarm tactics, uh, or we do computer uh, combat computer for the swarm, which is a increase of ship fire rate and evasion and swarm tactics. Or we can do picket tactics. Uh, the ship will advance close range and attempt to intercept the enemy. Uh, yeah, we want to do the swarm tactics. That's always the best uh, for this type of Corvette here. So yeah, we'll keep them on that. That means I don't think we need to actually change anything, or maybe we do, because I don't know if that's installed. Yeah, so let's go ahead and save it. And then I think we will have to to upgrade them. That's gonna be 155 alloys. Uh, luckily, we have plenty of alloys, because uh, I haven't really been building up our, our fleet much. I guess we can go ahead and build up the fleet. Uh, let's hit our shipyard up and get a few more uh, Corvettes going. Let's do, how many can we build? We got one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. There we go. Let's increase our fleet size. In case we run into any problems thus far, though, have not had any issues. Boom! We built something. We built something. All right. So we now have the research stations built over there. Excellent. Uh, we could also contact these guys. See if there's anything that might do a non-aggression pact. Yeah, they don't want to do any trades or anything. They are quite receptive, attitude-wise. We're not gonna do anything yet what's this here oh they have a CB on us yeah we're not gonna do anything with them yet because I don't know what our uh, stance is gonna be on them let's go ahead and research that one wow we really hit this tech out of the ballpark okay so we got the coil guns now excellent too bad I just upgraded my ships and just built a ton of them uh, we're gonna let these guys finish upgrading and then we'll uh, We'll uh, upgrade them again. Finish building, and then we'll upgrade them again. If I could talk today. Uh, planet build speed, Corvette hull points, or afterburners. Let's do the Corvette hull points. All right. Is there anything to build? Not really. We do have the influence to build. Um, but yeah, no systems that have been scanned yet. Uh, engineering research, awesome. I mean, we could, of course, grab up some of these these uh, places where we have open lockdown, but I really want to focus our influence on these other places for right now. Uh, let's just expand as quickly as possible. Now uh, we could move our construction ships so that they're in the next place. Boom. I found something. Yeah, go and research that one, my friend. Boom. And built something. where are we grabbing next? I think yeah, we have this locked down. It looks like this one does not connect there, so we're gonna want to go there next. All right, uh, so yeah, I think we have this whole thing locked down for the most part, although it's not really locked down technically because we have open borders, so they could come over here and grab it up if they wanted to. Uh, hopefully they don't. All right, so we did get our hydroponic farms. That's a building, and it's going to give more farmer jobs. Uh, I don't know how useful that would be. I mean, until later in the game when you ran out of... Uh, yeah, why would you use a building for that? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I would. Uh, hydroponics Bay. Uh, so probably not going to use either of those anytime soon. I don't think we just didn't have very good choices uh, when we went in here. Uh, gene clinics are now something that I could actually see myself using more of. I didn't really use them at all uh, in the previous patch. Uh, but now you get these medical workers that turn consumer goods into amenities and pop growth speed. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, this will increase the... Uh, base food growth of the the farmers, so that'd be useful too. But you know, what? I'm gonna get these. Although we're probably not gonna build them anytime soon. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's just get the base food growth then. That'll help us immediately. Because I don't see us building uh, those clinics immediately. So yeah, we'll just wait. Uh, but yeah, things are going well. Uh, it's almost the end of the episode here, guys. Uh, this is going to be a shorter, or it's going to be a regular length episode, I should say. I didn't realize that was paused. Prospect analyzed. And we did finish surveying over here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be uh, finishing this up here soon. Uh, so yeah, since this one is not connected, what we're going to do is let's go straight to this one. I want to lock that one down. I want to see what's over here as well. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and have him come over here. And... The other sign ship, he's already, yeah, he's already doing his damn thing. Maybe we'll scan these ones after that. And they did close their borders to us. I thought we were going to be friendly, but it seems there's some issues due to our slavery policy. Of course, we're materialist, so that does cause problems. The fact that our authoritarian is going to cause problems as well. And yeah, basically, they just don't like our policies. Okay, so we might not have friendly relations with these guys after all. Well, they close their borders on me. I'm going to close my borders on them. Uh, it's kind of better uh, that way anyways to make sure that they can't come over here and grab my systems or even these ones. I mean, they could come in here and get any of these systems that I'm currently attempting to lock down. Uh, so it's probably for the best. Uh, maybe maybe we'll uh, find ourselves at war with them. Maybe we'll be able to uh, arrange a friendship in the future. I don't know. We'll have to see you guys. So I want to hit the ship designer up before the end of the episode uh, because we did get those quail guns. And since the quail guns are, you know, level two uh, compared to the level three red lasers, we're going to go ahead and place those all the way across uh, until we get the, the blue lasers. And I don't think there's anything else for us to do. We don't need to do reactor boost. We're good on power. Pretty much good on everything here. Uh, so let's go ahead and save the voodoos. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade them. Uh, we're sitting at 580 uh, for our combat for our military power right now so let's see what that what that grows to god that is expensive alloys wise quite expensive uh we could grab that system up uh, but like i said i really want to save the influence for uh getting some of these other ones specifically that one and hopefully it should be done here soon maybe not you know what yeah he is gonna take a little while to get that all right what we'll do is let's just grab that one then or we could get that one for the alloys you know what Hmm. I think it would be more beneficial to grab this one. So let's build the outpost here just because it has the alloys there. And that's another reason why it would probably be good for us to scan these systems uh, eventually so that we can find out what's there. There might be something really awesome uh, that we could really use. Of course, you need technology to take advantage of most of the resources. So, yeah, we don't really have that technology yet. Let's take a look at our planets, see how they're doing on jobs. Doing great on jobs. Uh, overall, everything's looking pretty good so far uh, and I think that's going to be the end of the episode we will get our new tradition here in 13 months uh, but yeah we're 23 years into the game and we have expanded a bit Walmart Incorporated is looking pretty strong we got our first neighbor uh, yeah I think this is a fantastic place in the episode uh, we do have a building here that we could get I suppose we will go ahead and take advantage of that right now might as well and we're going to need to get jobs set up soon anyways. I do like waiting um, to, to get the jobs. I mean, there's no reason to get a bunch of jobs that nobody can work, that you don't have the population to work. Uh, they will upgrade to better jobs. Uh, so if you get like a bunch of specialist jobs, then your workers will automatically promote up to those specialist jobs, which isn't always necessarily a good thing. Uh, you know, we currently have workers, uh, clerks, technicians, and odd factory worker. Uh, so those bonuses that they're providing, it doesn't matter how good those bonuses are, like that factory worker giving us those alloys. If we let them all promote up to specialist, uh, then uh, yeah, we won't have anybody doing these jobs. So that's why I find it often beneficial to just wait until you have the people available, uh, unless it's like a specialist job you really, really need. Uh, so now that we have this available, uh, this uh, open building slot, let's see what we want to get here. I'm just looking at the top bar, trying to see what we need, uh, what we're hurting on the most right now. As far as, uh, I mean, consumer goods, we could do something about that. Uh, we could get more alloys, though alloy production is looking pretty good right now. Amenities, uh, yeah, they're probably going to need some amenities eventually here. I'm, I'm tempted uh, here on Asda to get the corporate culture site uh, for that more trade value and that unity and stuff. I think that'd be helpful for us overall. I, we might actually do that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I like that society research. I like that trade value. 
I like that unity. They're all great. So let's get a corporate culture site here. I think that'd be useful. Uh, there's, there's, it's our special building for our, uh, you know, government type. So uh, it's a little bit better than, you know, the normal one. So you definitely want to take advantage of it since it's that special building that we have access to. Uh, so did we ever finish upgrading these guys? It looks like they are preparing, which I think means that we don't have the 472 alloys yet. Uh, so yeah, we have to wait to get that before they'll be able to upgrade. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Got two observation posts at the moment. Uh, just taking a look at uh, these guys here, seeing uh, what they're looking like as far as their stats and stuff. Uh, can I click on the planet? Where are they at? Oh, it's this one right here. Uh, just taking a look at the population. They are materialist and militarist. I think we will get along fine. Maybe we'll even turn them into our warriors or something like that eventually. Uh, we'll have to see. What stage are they in, by the way? Let's just take a They're in the Renaissance. Are they both in the Renaissance? Because I could have swore these guys were in the Renaissance as well. Yeah, they're both in the Renaissance. All right, interesting. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do read and reply to all comments. I uh, love hearing from you guys, so uh, let me know what you think of the series, of the game, of the patch, whatever. Uh, just love talking to you. And yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.